All right, we're back with the brand new Money Origami Originals. Today I've got this uh, dual hexagon. Highlights the uh, two seals. The back is um, pretty well secured. It doesn't unfold or come apart. And uh, wow, it's been the longest time in between videos. Last one was February 7th, so sorry about that. And if you're new to the channel, hope you check out the other videos on the channel and uh, fold some of those. Now, I'm just an uh, amateur origamist, really, that's into the designing part. And, uh, you know, I came up with this one and... The hardest part is, uh, you know, teaching you how to fold it because, you know, I just fiddle around and come up with it, but then putting it together into a video, you know, that's, that's the hard part. And I made a couple of notes to get started to make sure we all come out with the same outcome. Now you can fold this with three by seven inch paper or six by 14 centimeters. That'll be a little bit smaller than a dollar, and this is a little bit bigger than a dollar. So, uh, let me tell you why I didn't make a video. One of the reasons that I haven't made one in a while. I remember the last thing I was really working on is I was trying to make this shape with a dollar. And, wow, I just became extremely frustrated in trying to get that done. And the whole idea was to make the... Uh, soma cube uh parts seven pieces and you know this had ends on it and everything it was part of the puzzle pieces and uh, i think actually i might have come up with an idea of how to make this piece so um who knows what will be next on the channel, and I'm not going to make any uh, claims to when I'll make another video. But hey, here's a video now, and no one has this, and I hope you think it's cool. It's it's pretty neat. I mean, you could put a half dollar or a uh, dollar coin, I believe, will fit in here inside these little hexagons, which that will make it, you know, pretty hefty and even cooler. So uh, let's get started, and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. I guess really there's a lot of reasons I haven't made any videos in a while, but uh, you know, part of it is channel growth, and part of it is you know, I go in and out of some of my hobbies, and this is just a hobby, you know, because uh, I'm just doing it for fun. And uh, give me a break on this one, and uh, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you hate it, but you know, if you'd rather not see it, then a thumbs down, but. You know, if it's all right, then give it a thumbs up. I mean, if everybody voted on the videos, that would really help out the channel. And that's the least you could do, really. I, mean, I, I put a lot of time into these. Now, uh, here was the original prototype. And this is if you make it out of paper. And I'll show you the slight deviation. And the points come, you know, almost exactly together. And we're going to do it a little bit different with the dollar because we want to highlight the uh, circled uh, seals. And so this one I just kind of threw together from a different model. And this one's kind of messed up. And I made that one yesterday, finished it up, and uh, made this one today. Now, while I was experimenting with a little bit of the instructions, that's why this side's a little bit messed up on those two corners. So. Hopefully we'll avoid that on this one. Maybe not. I don't know because this is really only the fourth one. But this one, you know, everything was drawn out on graph paper first. And actually it's easier to make it with paper on this model. So again, 3 by 7 inch or 6 by 14 centimeters. All right. All right, so we've got our brand new bill, no paper fake money here. I've been using a sequence of serial numbers, so 665. <laughs> this one's the uh, 666 one. <laughs> First thing we want to do is find the center of these two circles. Now, on the eagle, there's a center tail 
feather and a center star. So fold over right there. Now try not to make any creases in the circle area. So I'm just bringing it down enough to find the center of that feather. And you can crease up this way pretty good. Make sure the edge is aligned because you want the crease right on the center of the circle at the edge of the paper. So now on this side, the star is right there. Edge is lined up. And make those creases good so you can find them later. All right. So on this side, we've only got the point of the pyramid to go by. So line up the edge and do the same thing. Except on this one, you're just going to have to make sure this edge is straight and pinch on over. Make sure the edge is straight and then Increase that. Alright, now let me look at the next step. Like I said, you know, cut me a break. Haven't made one in a while. Okay, so now since some might be making this with paper, go ahead and flip it over and fold in half. If you're making paper with paper, you don't have to do these creases yet. So there's just a little bit of difference with the paper. And it's actually easier. So now fold in half, but avoid creasing on the circles. So just and this isn't really that important if you're making it with the dollar to do this part. Uh, well, you'll need it later some, so you at least need pinch marks in the center and on the ends. All right, so now if you're making it with paper, you don't have these creases. And what you'll do is you fold this point to the center crease and go down to the point. And you'll do that the other direction as well. And you'll make more folds like that. But just do them like we're doing in here. Now, if you're making it with paper, you'll have a different crease right here. So what we're doing with the dollar one is from this pinch mark, you want to bring the paper around and put the point on the edge. So from this pinch mark at the top of the eagle and the point on the edge right there. Now crease that. All right, it's it's pretty close. It's, it's not going to come out exactly perfect. Sorry. You know, it just yeah, I can fiddle with these. Every time I play with one, I find different ways to do stuff. And, you know, I never stop if I'm going to not make a video. And so now you do the same thing with the bottom crease to the point. And get it just right at the crease at the edge of the paper. All right, so right there. That looks good. So now we've got these two creases right here, see. And now we'll use those to make the two on this side. I'll, uh, I'll show a little bit on the paper at the end of the video, really, because it's really dollar origami. 
you know, since these two creases are already here really nicely right now, fold in half and line up that point right to the edge. And these creases need to line up right here, see? And just go ahead and crease that. We'll use that later. So there we go. Now we've got to repeat the same thing on this side. But we've got to also do two creases right here. So what you do is you take this top raw edge and you line it up with that crease right there. You see? So that it tucks in right there. So just don't smash it until you think they're about even. That looks pretty good. So it's not a perfect hexagon. It's real close. But with the paper, it's, it's more of an accurate hexagon. Shifting it over is kind of hard, which is what we're doing on the dollar. See how it doesn't come down to the corner? So now you do the same thing with this one. And it's going right to that crease. Right there. And make really good points. And then you're looking for the same amount of gap away from the edge of the circle. So that's, that's pretty good. Right there. So I'm just making sure they're in there good. Alright, so now let's go to the other side of the bill and do the same thing. Which is from that top pinch mark. You rotate it around to where this corner is on the edge of the paper. To that pinch mark. And you just hold it where they're lined up and then make the crease over here. Alright. So thanks for all the new subscribers. There's actually been a lot more than usual. Maybe it's because of that uh, covert op stuff going around, you know. That's not the actual name, but that's what I'm calling it. So now from that pinch mark at the edge over to this point on the edge of the paper. And there we go. Alright, so since we have these two creases, and I said do the same thing. And I fold it in half this way. And get these lined up right here. And that point should be right on the center line, too. So, you can use a lot of creases on this one to make sure you're doing it right. See, this is going to go like that. And tuck in. And same thing on this side. course. So, we're looking pretty good so far. Alright, let's see what the next thing is I might have written down. Oh yeah, I'll tell you what else the other thing is that you can help the channel out with if you'd really like to, you know, help it to get going. Because, see, if there was a lot more people on the channel, then I'd be encouraged to make more videos. Is to uh, watch the whole video. And even if you're not standing there watching it, you know, let it play. It really helps out the channel because uh, the watch time is hideously low on my channel. Now, the views are up from, you know, the last few weeks. But down overall because they haven't made any videos. So now we're going to fold the uh, bottom and top edge into the center line. 
and hopefully your X's are right on the center line. So this one's coming out better than the uh, previous two. Oh, wait, on this side, I forgot that uh, to fold the uh, edge into the crease like that. And look at the circle. Make sure it looks about the same on both sides. Yeah, pretty close. Let it slip a little bit. All right. And then the other way, which is this edge right to this crease. That looks pretty good. So, I know this isn't really any particular thing, but, you know, nobody has videos like mine. <laughs> All right, so there we are. Hold on one second. So, actually, I think with my format, you know, you can fold at the same time as me without having to hit pause and stuff. What do you think? I don't really have too many comments on origami videos. So now I'll fold the top and bottom edge into the center crease that we made. And just get it nice and straight. Of course, that's imperative on all the folds. I don't really mind if they don't get comments. That's fine. I mean, if you want to comment, that's great. If not, that's cool. You can ask me anything about anything, really, on the, uh, about on the homepage. I believe it's on there. Or community tab. You know, no one ever goes there, so people aren't going to see your comments. And if you want, you, know, you can let me know, and I'll delete it right after I read it. If you don't want anybody seeing it. So uh, that's pretty private, really, because no one really looks over there that much. All right, so we've got that, and we've got our hexagons now. They're laid out, see? And then uh, I didn't write any more instructions. <laughs> so uh, this is where I said, you know, give me a break, and uh, just bear with me a little bit. So let me see how to do this next part, really, because even two times, and see, this one I made months ago, so, you know, isn't really enough to get the information to show you, but, you know, I really think everybody deserved the video, so, you know, sorry, I haven't been making more. All right, give me a moment. All right, I remember part of it now, so, collapse. You know, that into the pattern like I showed previously. And don't let it crease over here. But over on this side, we've got to make a crease. But it's from this point. And if you were to fold that edge in a little bit, see, to that point. So you're making a vertical crease right there, see, like that. All right, because if we leave it all folded up, it gets kind of bulky. Now here's, it's kind of hard to see my crease in the middle there. Let me just redo that a little bit. So you're just folding these in so you can find this these two points. So you put it like that. And then as you lift up this part, you fold these in. 
so that you can locate the point where that line meets the ang the diagonal, where this line meets the diagonal. And you're folding it over. And then you want this point to land right on the center line. So you might have to adjust it up or down a tiny bit. It's really hard to see there because of the texture of the bill. And it is a lot harder to fold stuff out of money. You know that if you fold both. So now we've got that side pre-laid out, and then we just have to figure out how to flatten this stuff down. But that crease is hard to make later on because there's still a lot of finicky tucking in to make this, uh, you know, not come apart, even though this one's really sloppy. See, it doesn't just come apart. It's tucked under. In a cool way. So let's get that crease going on the other side. And so you just make the. Uh, I don't know what this fold is called. See, and I, I don't know the names of all the folds, and I, I'm, I'm not going to learn them really. You know, it's just a hobby. And see, I'm just pushing that over. Pushing this one in to find these two points and I'm making the fold just like that and lining this point up on the center and then I'm creasing this center fold down. So there it is. There's George, and we're all done. Appreciate you watching. <laughs> All right, we probably could figure out a way to make this skinnier in the middle. That'd be pretty cool, too, really. But then it'd kind of be like glasses or something. All right, so I'm going to uh, hit pause and do a little more information to show you folding. And I'll be right back. Well, I got interrupted, so uh, it's been a lot more time than a couple minutes. But I want to make some other videos besides origami, and it's called Money Origami Original. So, you know, I doubt they'll be the dominating factor on the channel. So, you don't have to unsubscribe just because there's a video you might not be interested in that pops up. Hey, that could be something cool sometime later, you know. But, okay. What we want to do is collapse this stuff. But we don't want to make all the creases just yet. What you want to do is make a vertical line here. So this tries to squish that way. So put your finger right there and get this all the way over here this way. And we're just going to pinch right here on the edge of the paper. So do that on all four of these. Let that kink on over and hold this up. Hold this around till it's vertical. And should align with that one, really. And just I mean, this is the back, but we want it all tucked in neatly because we don't want it falling apart. So that one laid down real easy, pinching right there. And yeah, it, it lays down pretty easy, actually. But we want this center pleat on the outside. So now we have those pinch marks. And now you're going to tuck this over. But it's going to tuck inside this hexagon right here to lock it. 
And so we've got to make the fold the same as that shape, which is kind of weird. But what I've found works pretty well is that pinch mark we just made right here. You just move this over. To that pinch mark well sorry there's a crease right down here see and so leave that flat and then from that point right here where that see there's that one right there it's easier to see and that one and that one. Now this one I already jacked it up a little bit, but it's it's way down there, see. So we just want to fold this part over from that point up to our pinch mark. Right there. And it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. So goes like that because now well that's gonna work just fine that's that's good right there actually see that is gonna tuck under George that little corner and so on the next one see after you see two or three you can See what I'm doing, Polly. See right there. And I think it's slightly different on the other models, but that's, that's going to be enough. Hold it in there. And just push this in a little. So we've got this point right here. And then you just fold it over that way. To that pinch you made right there. All right, one more. And there's the mark right there, see? And down to there. So you're just folding over a little perfect little triangle. All right, that one isn't... This one isn't standing. It came off the point a little. Because we want to try to get a little bit to tuck under. There, they look all about the same. See, those are going to tuck under George. So all we've got to do now is work out the ends. And just open it up. And do a rabbit ear with these two folds. So we've got this one that went down here. And we've got this one that went right here. And there's our rabbit ear. See, so there's the hexagon is all we're doing. And make that point nice there. And this should be the center line fold right here. And then just fold that over, but not all the way to these points. Fold it over such that it lines up with this crease. So, just a little bit shallow of the points here. All right, now open it up. And put that on the inside. And it should make a nice straight line right here. And the paper tends to slide on you a little bit. Just wow, well, actually I'll show you a better way on this other side now that I realize. 
the issue. So now these points go underneath George. <laughs> All right, so lift it up and tuck them under. And let's go to the other side and I'll show you what I mean. So just fold one over and then see that's that one. Now you want to find this one and just fold it over. And there's that crease right there. It's already there. And see, so that way it's already tucked inside. You don't really have to mess with that whole rabbit ear part. All right, I'm going to tuck these in. Under George there. And you might want to make sure those are all the way in there. There's no folding going on underneath it right there. So now you just fold these down. And that's how it's going to go. Except those two little, those one little corner on each side tucks under George. So that's the trickiest part. I'm going to grab some kind of tool to help out. So this corner goes under George. Right there. <laughs> Just like that. And this one. Right under there. I hope this video, well, I haven't looked in the viewfinder in a long time on this video. I hope it's all in frame. And now we just have two more to tuck in. That one right there. And the, the other. The opposite one on each side is, it's a lot harder. So mine is kind of knotted up right there. But, it's pretty good. Hope yours didn't do that. Let's see on the front. It's beautiful. So it came out really nice. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, hopefully I'll make another one real soon. You know, I, I do enjoy doing it and everything. Just, uh, I got kind of depressed after a while. Since I got laid off, you know, before everybody back in November. All right. So I got the little knot out of there, too, on that one side. There it is. So it's pretty cool. I like it. It all stays together really well. And if you want, you can put a piece of paper over it and then iron it. Or you can put it in a book. Or you can check out my magnet flattening method video that's pretty cool all right so i hope you enjoyed that 35 minutes not that bad take care and i hope the uh covert operation virus scanner is not uh affecting you or anybody you know and love or uh anybody you know even at all maybe they're just using it to uh Cleaning out the house of the uh, terrible, evil people. I hope that's it.
All right, take care. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.